I'm the mother of a substance user who has passed away from her substance use. Um, my daughter's drug of choice was fentanyl and she started taking fentanyl when Oxycontin was reformulated and made tamper-proof. Um, she fell in love with it and it took over. In my naivety, I said, wow, that's amazing, you should tell your doctor, and she did. And he immediately cut her off without any psychiatric counseling or anything um, to help with the social anxiety. Um, she tried to go clean. Um, again, my, my ignorance to substance use or dependence um, told me to tell her, you know, just stop, just uh, don't go searching for other drugs to substitute for the Oxycontin. Um, but she couldn't, and I didn't understand why. They had her in an induced coma, and the doctors came in and said to me, uh, she's going to lose her life. Um, she's been injecting in unsanitary conditions and has contracted two different diseases that have caused the um, flesh-eating disease, and they would eventually take her life. I had to face my daughter and tell her that she was going to predecease me because of her substance use. And I was angry. I was very angry that she had gotten to that point. Um, but when she woke up and we were talking about it being the end of her life, she turned to me and she said, you really need to be educated. You need to understand what substance abuse is and why I've gotten this far. And she pointed out that it was my stigma directed towards her and my ignorance directed towards her that it caused things to go as far as they have. I was astounded that it was my fault. <laughs> um, not, not completely my fault, but that there was opportunity in many different spots that I could have taken things in a different direction, understood her illness, um, accepted it as an illness. I still thought it was a willful b behavior. And she sat with me day after day after day at the picnic table and just talked to me about what substance use was to her and how it took hold of her and how she didn't want to wake up in the morning wanting more drugs. She wanted to wake up wanting to be sober. But the opportunities weren't there for her. The programs, the health care, the social care, um, the family bonding, all those things that would have been supportive to her to get her clean were not available. I was surprised it happened to me. My children were raised by the book. Um, you know, we, we lived in a nice neighborhood. They went to good schools. They were educated. They had every opportunity. And it happened. And it can happen to anyone's child. You can't be an ostrich with your head in the sand forever. You have to come up to reality and, and face it. You need to educate yourself on what substance use is all about, what it looks like, the signs, the symptoms. You have to trust your gut. You have to love your way through it. Yes, there's boundaries and there's barriers, but no substance user is going to find recovery without assistance. You can be that person for your child. Go out there, I implore you to go out there, get the information, work with it. Open the, open the communication between you and your child and let them know that you're there. You're there to learn with them, to help them, to walk them through it. That's what my mission with Mums Do is, is to be the family voice, the family experience of substance use. Um, Mums Do stands for Mums United and mandated to saving the lives of children and we go out there into the communities, into the provinces, into the countries. We're, we're now international and we speak about what happened to us and the fact that it can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm.